Here's another crab I found. You can see it's got a bit of damage to the claws, but I had a good feeling about it. The stories of our past are all around us, often immortalised in rock and stone. The ocean tends to hold on to its secrets for millions of years, but sometimes we're given an insight into its mysteries. This episode features the remains of marine wildlife that no longer exists and tells the innocuous tales of normal people finding them on beaches. This is Deep Blue Discovery. Coming up on this episode, just how big was the Megalodon? And the ancient whale that was a giant predator. But first... Here's another crab I found. Amateur fossil hunter Morn Vierm discovered this on New Zealand's Canterbury coast. It's the fossil of a 12 million year old crab called Tumi de Carcinus giganteus. Cut the grind out now, it's going to start working on the bottom, but there was about a three centimetre layer of rock. He filmed himself scraping away at the rock as he uncovered the perfectly preserved ancient creature. The 12 million year old crab is a kid compared to this golden cannonball. It was found by fossil hunter Aaron Smith on the UK's Yorkshire coast, and this is what was inside. It's an ancient sea creature, 185 million years old, an extinct cephalopod called Clebiceras. It existed during the Jurassic period. These animals are commonly found inside limestone coated by iron pyrite, meaning if polished, it looks like a golden cannonball. Next, you're looking at the scales of a real dinosaur. This fossilised Ithiosaurus was discovered by dog walkers on a Somerset beach in the UK. The prehistoric creature was uncovered thanks to a week of rough seas. It's believed this particular Ithiosaurus lived 65 million years ago during the Jurassic period. They were kind of porpoise-like in appearance and lots of research has been done on them. It's thought they gave birth to live young, tail first, and their diet consisted mainly of fish and squid. Cy Don found this rock on a beach in Yorkshire, England, as a young child. 35 years later, he decided to crack it open. It turns out the rock had been keeping a secret for 180 million years. An amazing collection of ammonite fossils. They're worth thousands of pounds, but Sai says they're not for sale. These creatures went extinct alongside the dinosaurs millions of years ago. <laughs> Find a big one? On the shores of Lake Superior in Michigan, the discovery of a lifetime. Oh my god. Yeah, go pick that up. These things aren't sea creatures, but they are ancient and very interesting minerals. Under UV light, they glow in the dark, and it's all thanks to fluorescent soda light. They were named Eupolites by mineral dealer Eric Rintamaki, who now takes people to the beaches to find their own special rocks. Go pick that up. 
Still to come on Deep Blue Discovery, the whale you wouldn't want to meet in the sea today. But first, the great white shark is the largest shark on Earth. But take a look at this. On the right is the tooth of a 17-foot tiger shark. In the middle, the tooth of a prehistoric great white. On the left, the tooth of an extinct megalodon. To put that in perspective, here's the megalodon's tooth next to a human hand. And here it is again, next to the modern tiger shark's tooth only. These remains were discovered by a scuba diver called Terriola off North Carolina. She hunted for 12 hours before uncovering the prehistoric treasure. It's believed to be 15 million years old. The creature itself might have looked like this artist's impression and would have been twice the size of a modern great white. Finally, more teeth. This is the tooth of an extinct species of whale that lived approximately 25 million years ago in what we now know as Australian waters. What's most interesting about this is that scientists have worked out that these ancient creatures weren't like modern whales at all. They were of course giant, but this species was not gentle in any shape or form. They're known as Janducetus, and the fossilised evidence shows they lacked baleen for filter feeding, instead using huge teeth for gripping and shredding prey. Their teeth were kind of similar to those of lions and wolves, and researchers believe they hunted large animals and tore them to pieces. The prehistoric past is endlessly fascinating. It's an area of research populated by some of the best minds on Earth, perhaps because finding out what happened to wildlife that went extinct might help us understand our future. We hope you enjoyed the tiny snippet we've been able to show you of the interesting things that people are finding all over the world, all the time. Thank you for watching, please subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, and we'll be back next week with more awesome marine life.